At the fishing village of Capernaum, archaeologists found what likely is St. Peter's house. Here, Jesus apparently based his Galilean ministry. Early Christians built a basilica on top of the site, and today, a church on stilts stands above the ruins. Nearby are remains of a synagogue, built in early centuries on top of the first century synagogue that Jesus knew. Herod Antipas, a close ally of Rome, ruled Capernaum and all of Galilee. Jesus had left Nazareth for Capernaum, at the far edge of Herod's domain, when Herod arrested John the Baptist. Given the political danger that he himself faced, Jesus took surprising actions at Capernaum. He called Matthew, collector of taxes for Herod and for Rome, to abandon tax collecting and follow him. More startling is Jesus' response when a Roman centurion pleaded for Jesus to heal his servant. Elsewhere, Jesus publicly critiqued the kind of coercive power that Rome wielded. Jesus would have had a reason to hate any Roman centurion. Instead, he healed the servant of an occupying soldier and honored the man's faith. Today, with oppressive occupation in various parts of the world, Jesus models both a call for justice and a commitment to love even the enemy.